Lions Gate 2022 and so many more things rolled up in this message that I have for you. This is Mandolin and I would like to welcome you back if you're here listening and say thank you for joining me and to just pardon the pause. I'm finding out that so many people it's like just chaos is raining down sometimes. So the message that I have today uh, talks about what is happening, not just what we're going through, but what is actually happening. And I'm going to try to keep this as succinct as I possibly can, but there are a few things that need to come into it. I've heard more than one or two people talk about dreams involving tunnels, passageways, bridges. Now that could be indicative. In my case, I believe that it is that, that I seem to be helping people across or through something. On August 3rd, I got a message that there is a mass awakening to extraterrestrial activity coming up so that will probably be like a pocket a group a collective of people that have had their awakening to the extraterrestrial activity that has and is still occurring on planet here and also out in our solar system on August 4th I got a message from the Oversoul of the Healers Collective. And it followed an experience. So here I'm going to bring Tales from the Tapestry in on you too, right? Um, I was riding along and in the car at night. And all of a sudden I heard it. Mandolin, you're volatile. And I'm like, what? And it was... it felt like Eddie because it's not sounded the way that I communicate with him. It's it's more of a feeling. It's not an audible sound necessarily. But I was so taken aback and I immediately went examining myself and my behavior in different areas. And then I got like the cold ice water feeling, you know, going, going all the way down. Uh, my spine and I thought this isn't right so I immediately called in my protection which of course began with Archangel Michael and then my higher aspect so that I could sort this out and feel safe while I did there are various kinds of protection this is not that video <laughs> but know that yours doesn't have to mirror mine it doesn't have to be you know, like mine. It'll be what is appropriate for you and for your situation. I told Archangel Michael, I said, any energy that is not authentic and does not have the highest good, please expel it now. Shortly after that, this message came from the Oversoul of the Healers Collective, and you've heard me speak of this before. It's talking about psychic attacks. Now, this may materialize in a variety of ways. In this case, I think I've talked before about if we can get just get delayed a little bit. It's not about winning or losing, okay? It's about a challenge. <laughs> the question is, what else could possibly hold us up so that we don't make that appointment with a certain collective? Possibly just a realm of possibilities depending on what the individual is experiencing and also is needing. So it was brought to me that the method is to utilize energy imprint of an important person or event within your experience. And it seems very real and it may even seem to be acting as a guide as I experienced. You end up distracted by the lower frequency and entanglements and therefore you are delayed by that distraction. And then I was given the following information. As we approach the rising energies that will change our experience 
it is important to remain in resonance with your higher aspects, over soul, and divine flow. It's important to set protection and expel any deceptive energies from your field. Call in Archangel Michael, your guides. The heavens, and that was in quotes, the heavens are filled with help and support. All is in alignment, ready to receive and proceed. It's a personal journey to proceed or not. Honor free will, even if it's painful, and honor your own free will. Don't allow your energy and power to be usurped. A theme, I, I guess you could say, that I got is do you have the heart to take this step? And that could be taken in a couple of ways. Not are you brave enough? I mean, I guess that could be one. Do you have the courage? But the way I see it is your heart of the vibration and frequency in order to, to be part of this step forward. A lot of people are starting to be able to see into their future manifestation. And why is that so interesting? Because many have not been able to see forward. Now, the explanation that I was given for this is that there were so many still just trying to get things in place and make the final decision, as it were, on what they were going to manifest in the newer energies and the newer cycle. And so there wasn't enough set to start to see, as a societal level, what will occur. You could see your own growth. You could see your own um, methods. You could see your own dream manifesting in the physical but there wasn't a lot of visual of the collective and that's just because there was too much kind of up in the air so that tells us that more people have settled and anchored all right their higher frequency manifestation uh, there's a lot of deception out there right now and do we need the deception? Sometimes we do need that in our path so that we can have a realization and do the work in order to overcome whatever was present as a result of that deception. I hope this resonates because it was a great big aha moment for me. The, the energy that I started the exchange with was so familiar but there just seemed to be this this little nuance missing so one of the things that I've done is I've put in um, almost like a little code to know that I can vet this energy alright and I'm safe listening to this energy in other words taking guidance from it be aware okay be tuned in like I said there are a lot of people going through really tough times I myself have hit a crisis this weekend that involves a loved one that is not well that is in fact in the hospital and I can't, I can't allow myself to worry because the energies are so, uh, they're tricky right now. Tricky is the word. What I can do is establish that connection, establish that flow, ask for support and give gratitude because if you're not showing gratitude then apparently you're not happy with any of your situation 
And if you can't be happy, then you'll be brought to the point where you'll have to find the joy in something. Trust me, I know this very well. Send love out to anyone you know that's struggling right now. Send out support and at the same time, allow them the room and the free will to go through it. And you just hold space with unconditional love and gratitude. And I hope that you are taking in all of the beautiful things that are easily overshadowed. And with that, my voice is gone. So everybody have a wonderful, beautiful, expansive Lionsgate 2022.